It's time for Ryan's Roses. And Ryan's Roses right now. But kind of a, but this is a little bit, it's a little bit different. Uh, she says, Sarah, by the way, in Echo Park, she says, Dear Ryan, I've been seeing a guy since December, and I thought things were going really well. But recently, I ran into a friend of mine who apparently knows the guy I've been seeing. He, he said to me, you're not dating, you know, so-and-so, are you? And I said, no, even though I am, just because I wanted to hear what he had to say. He said, okay, good, because he's on all these creepy sugar daddy websites. Mm. Wow. And then she says, would it be possible for Tanya to go on one of these websites and pose as a gold digger? I've heard her do stuff like that before, and I need to know before I see him again. He gets home from New York on the 18th. So basically, we want Tanya to assume the role of one of these girls on one of these sites and see what he does. And she did. Yeah. And he did get back. Like, he engaged with mm -hmm. her. And uh, so we had to find one of the sites that Tanya's not actually on, but it, it, it worked She's out. Not on Sugar Daddy site. Oh, you're not on the SugarDaddy.com. No. Uh, so let me grab Sarah. Sarah, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Yeah. So let me just to cut to it. This is interesting because we had Tanya pose as a girl who found your husband on this website. He is engaged in contact with her. Matter of fact, he has asked for her number, and she gave it to him. And, right. and and we also have his number through Tanya as well. So it's already bad. Yeah. I mean, it's not great news. Yeah. He, here's what I was thinking we do. Why don't we call him and let Tanya have a conversation and, like, ask him out on a date and see if he bites? Okay. Yeah. And if he does, <laughs> and we got problems. Yeah, sounds like we already do. But yeah, I guess that'll steal the deal. Well, the fact that he gave out the yeah. number that's on these sites, it's a red flag. And I, I got uh, issues with that all the way around. But um, yeah. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call him, whatever his name is, on KISS FM. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. Now, what we found out is that uh, Sarah's boyfriend has been on these websites. What, what kind of websites? They're sugar daddy websites? Mm -hmm. And so what is that? Mm -hmm. It means that he's... Looking for girls that want to take his money? Well, well what's a sugar daddy? I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of is that. I mean, like you want to, it's a site to meet like wealthy men or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. And by yeah. the way, the, and Sarah gave me a bunch of information on him and he was very easy to find. Mm. All right. So she did find him on one of these sites. He did start to uh, speak with her. And now this is the first time they did exchange numbers. Now the first time that they've ever talked is going to be now. So uh, he's already kind of mentally cheating. And yeah. I want to call him and, and let, let's just find out what he says to her. Did you use a fake name, Tanya? Yeah, of course. I what, don't want what, my name on these. No, to be confused with your other no. sites. But what what name did you use? Uh, you, Fiona. Fiona. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like Fiona, F-I-O-N-N-A? Yes. Okay. Like the apple. Or like Fiona Apple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not actually an apple. <laughs> it's a singer's name. All right, let's gather ourselves here. So, Sarah, we're going to call him now uh, and find out how far she gets with him and if he really is setting up a, a violation here, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, good luck. Thanks. Hello. Hi, Jason. Yeah, hi. Hi, Jason. It's Fiona. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. How's New York? Uh, you know, it's pretty good. Keeping busy. Awesome. When are you back? Uh, I should be back Saturday. I was just, I mean, if you're not busy oh, this Friday. weekend, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out maybe. Maybe we could get a drink. Yeah, that'd be cool. What part of town are you in? Um, I'm staying, uh, I should be around Glendale, I think. Okay, that works. Saturday night, is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, I should be around for Saturday night. Okay, what time? Uh, I don't know, whatever works for you. We can do around 7.30. Do you maybe want to hang out after, too? Get drinks and go somewhere else? Yeah, sure, I'm down. 
Okay, good. Because I need to have a little fun. I've had a long week. I'm all about fun. I really need to blow off some steam. Yeah, why is that? I've just had a really rough week at work. My boss has just been so annoying. Well, we can try to fix that for you. I would love that. Jason, it's Ryan Seacrest, and I need you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio. And I have your girlfriend on the phone, Sarah, who's asked us to call you because she knows that you're on these sites looking to pick up girls. And clearly, you met Fiona on one of these sites and are going to go out with her. Uh, It sounds like you're teeing up a, a cheating on her. So why are you on these sites looking for other women if you're in a relationship? Whoa. Yeah, we've been in a relationship since December, Jason. I don't know what you're talking about cheating on her. I don't like we're not on me like setting anything. up a date with another girl on Saturday. That kind of cheating on me. Yeah, you're just getting back from New York and all like you're you're literally just back from LAX and you're gonna go out and, and have a good time and let Fiona blow some steam. That doesn't sound like you're faithful. Uh, okay, like, I don't know, let's talk about cheating, being faithful, like, we've been seeing each other a couple months, but, like, we're not official or anything, last I checked, like, you're uh, still on Tinder, like... Oh, is that, is that true, you're not exclusive, oh, Sarah? Oh my God, no, we've been all. exclusive, I mean, I think I still have, I haven't been on Tinder since a what couple weeks into about? us dating. I have the app, I, I have, like, the app on my phone or something like that still, but I haven't been on there, you can look at my account, I haven't been on there. Uh, I don't know what you're doing on there. I don't know what if what you say is true. Like I, we've never discussed being exclusive. Like I'm just doing my thing. I assumed you were doing your thing. Well, wait a minute. That doesn't sound like what Sarah told us. She told us you guys were in a committed relationship since December. Is that not the case? I, I uh, not. There was nothing committed about our relationship. Oh come on. So Sarah, you didn't tell me the truth. No, for, as far as I knew, we were in a committed relationship. I didn't. Well, did, either you are or you aren't. Did you have the conversation? We didn't have any conversation. We said yeah, that well, we were really serious about each other and that we really liked where this was going. And I guess I assumed that meant we were going to put our focus on what was going on. Well, hold on. When you uh, when you date somebody, at some point you have a conversation that is this. Hey, are we seeing other people? No, we're exclusive. Okay, and you go from there. Have you two never had that conversation? No, we didn't. No, we didn't say it. Well, then why, so then Sarah? Words. Why are you telling me the guy? He's, he can't be cheating on you if you, you aren't exclusive <laughs> yeah. with him. I guess I thought when you're dating for that long and you're spending that much time together and saying the things that we've been saying to each other, I guess it was kind of implied in a well, lot of no, ways. I, I, I think that you got to be clear. That no one's seeing other people, no one's on any sites looking for other people, and and be clear about it. But when there's this gray area, I don't know who's at fault. I mean, look, Jason, you're going to go out with this random Fiona who's on this, basically this gold digger site, you know? it's just Yeah, why like, are you even you, on that you, in the you, first place? You didn't, it didn't take much to talk you into it, brah. Hey, I'm just doing me, and I thought she was doing her. You know, like, what's wrong with being on that site? So what? She's on uh, Tinder. Nobody questions her about not that. I don't know what Tinder. she's doing on there. I, if we're, I'm going to let you both go because y- you're in a situation where you're not communicating about the rules of your relationship, and you need to start with that. You need to talk about whether or not you're allowed to see other people. Because I can't actually say Jason's at fault for trolling for these you know other girls like fiona but it's not a great thing sarah if you expect him to be like just with you you need to be clear about that all right so you i'm gonna let you both go you guys could you should work it out wow uh donnie you didn't struggle much there so you were like right in stra- blow off some steam but yeah but, i mean that's of my annoying boss do you like right that? no i heard that part <laughs> I'm looking right at uh, you. Uh, Look yeah, at your yeah, voice yeah. changes too. But I think when when a girl says "blow off some steam," I think we all know what that means. It's on. Oh, it's Donkey Kong. <laughs>